Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can bring in YouTube videos, how we can embed videos, and how we can bring in websites. So once you've logged into your digital signage solution, you'll be taken through to the home page. And as we've done in all of the other training videos, we're going to move to the top left hand corner where it says new creative. So I'm going to click on the plus symbol because we're adding something to the digital signage solution. I can now choose to use a pre-made template where we can edit different items or widgets within that template, or we can start with a fresh page. And for this training video, we're going to use a blank page. So I'm going to click on the plus symbol on the start fresh with blank page. On the left hand side here, we have our widgets. In the middle, we have our canvas, which represents a TV screen. And on the right hand side is the information relating to the widget we're in. So at the moment, we're in the creative, so the actual default settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the name, and I'm just going to call that YouTube. There we go. Next thing I'm going to do is bring in a YouTube video. So to do this, we're going to move across to the left hand side, and we're going to go to our media widgets, and we can see the YouTube widget just in the middle there. Now, I've got two ways I can bring this in. I can either left click, keeping my left finger pressed down, and I can drag and drop it into the middle of our canvas. Or alternatively, I can just simply left click once and the YouTube widget will appear on our canvas. To move the widget around the screen, if I go to the middle of it, press and hold my left finger down again. So on the left mouse button, I can then move it around my canvas to position it where I would like it. Once it's in the location I want to keep it, I can simply just let go of that left mouse button. To change the shape and size of the widget, if I move to one of the sides or to a corner, you would notice that the cursor changes to two arrows. So this means that we can resize this item. So the two arrows have appeared, so I'm gonna left click and I'm just gonna pull my hand back and as we can see, it's then made the widget larger for me. So now what we're going to do is choose what YouTube video we are actually going to play. To do this, if I move across to the right hand side here, we've now changed from the creative widget. So the default settings for our creative or our presentation and we're on the YouTube widget. So at the top here, we've got the URL. That's the default. And if I left click on the down arrow, we can see some pre-installed YouTube videos for you. So if I wanted the BBC Wildlife, for example, I can just simply choose it. And as we can see, it's immediately changed on our canvas. If you want to bring in a YouTube video and you have got the URL for it, we can simply go to YouTube URL. Instead of clicking on the drop down menu, we're going to click in the actual address bar. And what I'm going to do now is use a shortcut key and just paste the new address in, and then I'm gonna left click, and it's now searched YouTube, and it's now brought in the video for me. So as you can see, it's nice and easy to bring in a YouTube video. Now, this will, in essence, what it's doing is going live and bringing in a web page for us, which is a YouTube web page with that video in. But sometimes it can be better to embed a video. So it takes a, it makes a file bigger, but it also means that it's a little bit quicker on the reload. So if I now move across to the left hand side, and this time we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom and we can now see embed. The very bottom one is embed, embedded. So I can left click and I'm gonna drag that up onto my canvas and I can now let go. Then I'm gonna press my left mouse button again and resize it. And you'll notice that when I get level with the original YouTube, a little line comes up to tell me that we are level and then exactly the same, I'm going to move to the corner, press and hold my left mouse button, and I can then resize it. So we've now got them parallel to each other. On the right hand side, it's now changed to the embedded widget. And you will notice that we've got two types of embed. We can use a URL and we can also use an embedded code. So the URL, this is where we would put in a very similar URL that we did with the YouTube widget, but we can also bring in websites as well. But the websites must allow embedding to bring them in this way. We can also put in the embedded code that you can find on YouTube, 
as well as on other sources to bring videos in. So again, I'm just gonna use a shortcut key and I'm going to just copy the content in there. And as we can see, it's now brought it in. I can change things like the height and width within here if I wanted to, so I could over type, or I can simply left click and drag to make it bigger or smaller for me. Underneath the embedded code, we've got the reload interval. So that is how often will it reach out to that address to see if it needs updating. So majority of the time, if it's gonna be embedded, it's probably gonna be off. But if it's a URL, you may want that activated because if there's any changes to the URL, this will automatically bring them in for you. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video on bringing in YouTube and embedded videos and websites. Thank you very much for your time.